Okay, I will present it. Everybody, please watch, ver watch and listen carefully because this is a style or a strategy that I discovered in order to explain the future perfect tense for I mean to my students. Okay, did you like my my template? I mean my uh, my screen. The future perfect tense explained by Andrew Aaron Taylor. Do you like the color combination? Yes. It's, yes. It's yeah. very nice, right? Yeah. It's very nice. Okay, now everybody look. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. Means we are doing grammar, but I also want you to practice your pronunciation and your conversation. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start from. Okay, I'm just gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna start with Shelpa. Shelpa, can you please read everything? Sure. Jake's mother will get up home at 7.30 p.m. Jake will finish his homework at 7 p.m. Jake will have finished his homework by the time his mother gets home. Okay, good. Now, what i like you to pay attention is, okay, look at the blue. Jack's mother will get home at 7.30 p.m. Jack will finish his homework at 7 p.m. Question to Charmin. Charmin, this, there are two situations in the future. Which situation will happen first? Can you read it? Jack will finish his homework at 7 p.m. Yes. Jack will finish his homework at 7 p.m. Okay that this will happen first and jack's mother will get home at 7 30. this will happen next okay so now this is the secret if you want to use the future perfect you have to look at which future will happen first and charmin which future will happen first? Can you please read it again? Jack will finish his homework at 7 p.m. Now, yes. Now, Jack will finish his homework at 7 p.m. will happen first. And because Jack, because it will happen first, you need to change that sentence into the future perfect. So it becomes Jack will have finished his homework. Are you following me? You do not say Jack's mother will have gotten home. No, because Jack will finish his homework at 7 p.m. will happen first. So you turn that into future perfect. So Jack will have finished his homework and then add when, before, by the time. Okay, which is, uh, which is, uh, by the time his mother gets home. Now, which, okay, so here, Jack's mother will get home at 7.30. What you will do is, the second sentence that you will connect to the future perfect, you will have to turn it into simple present. Are you following me? Yeah. So here, yeah, look, Jack's mother will get home at 7.30. You change it to, his mother gets home at 7.30. The will is gone. You change it into a uh, simple present. Is it, are you beginning to understand or still not clear? I understand, um, but it's practice. So, but it's a little but you need more explanation, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, don't worry. This is just, the, I have 10 sentences to explain to you. Okay, so again, I will repeat. Jack's mother will get home at 7.30. Jack will finish his homework at 7 p.m. Jack will have finished his homework by the time his mother gets home. 
Now, Jack will finish his homework becomes Jack will have finished his homework. Okay? And you change, Jack will finish his homework at 7 p.m. You turn it into, a, into the future perfect tense because that future will happen first. 7 p.m. will happen before 7.30. Okay? So now, um, now, um, Hadia, Hadia, I want you to say yes or no. Just say yes or no. Do not explain. Just say yes, no. Okay. Um, did, did, Jack's, did Jack's mother get home already? No. Good. Did Jack finish his homework? No. Is it 7.30 now? Not yet. Is it 7 p.m.? Not yet. No. Okay, good. Now, um, now at 7.30 p.m., Okay, Jack will have finished his homework by the time his mother gets home. Yeah. Has the mother gotten home, Hadia? Not yet. Not yet. So you know that the future perfect mm -hmm. tense means mm -hmm. two situations mm -hmm. will be finished in the future. But one of them will finish first. Mm -hmm. you got it? And the one that will finish first will be the future perfect. And the one that will finish second will be simple present. And then you connect them together using before, when, or by the time. You got it? Yeah. Okay, now let's go to the second one. Um, Olga, please read. Amanda's friends will leave the house at 8 a.m. Amanda will get ready at 7 a.m. Amanda will have gotten ready by the time her friends leave the house. Okay, look, look what happened. Amanda will have gotten ready is the future perfect tense for the simple future. Amanda will get ready, right? And her friends leave the house is simple present for her friends will leave the house. And if you combine them together, you will say, Amanda will have gotten ready by the time her friends leave the house. Okay. Now, why, uh, why is the future perfect tense very important? The reason is, if you don't know the future perfect tense, you're okay. Okay, you will be okay. But the problem is, if you don't know how to use the future perfect tense, what will, what's going to happen to you is you have to speak longer. Are you following me? Like if you don't, okay, I'll give you an example. If you don't know the future perfect tense, you say, oh, Amanda's friends will leave the house at 8 o'clock, at 8 a.m. And then Amanda will get ready at 7 a.m. So in this case, Amanda... When the friends come, Amanda is ready. Is that correct English? Yes, but it's yeah. a lot of words and it's low level. You got it? So, but if you know the future perfect tense, you will say, oh, Amanda will have gotten ready by the time her friends leave the house. So don't worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the next one. Uh, Raphael, please read. <coughs> this is Laura. Laura will, sorry, Laura will give back the key to the house at 1.30 p.m. Laura will clean out the house at 11.30. Laura will have cleaned out the house before she gives back the key. Okay, so for the same reason, um, 11.30 will take place before 1.30. And so this 11.30, you will turn into future perfect. 
Okay. Okay, next. Next, let's have Oxelia. Okay, go. Trisha. Uh, Trisha will cook dinner for both of us at 6 p.m. I will get home at 8 p.m. I by the time I get home, Trisha will have cooked dinner for both of us. Okay, yes. So here, Trisha will have cooked dinner for both of us is your future perfect because six o'clock happens before eight. Okay, I hope you're following. <clears throat> okay, next. Uh, Neruba, please read. Henry will complete five years of study in May 2023. Henry will graduate in June 2026. By the time Henry graduates, he will have completed five years of study. Yes. Okay. Next. Uh, Amarjit. The robbers will take all the money at 9 p.m. We will get home at 10.30 p.m. The robbers will have taken all the money by the time we get home. Okay. Now, everybody, are, are you beginning to understand it, how it's working? I think it's clear, right? Yes, 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 clear. Because yeah, I'll tell you something. Here. Everybody, listen to this. The way I am teaching you the future perfect tense, the way I'm teaching you the future perfect tense, you cannot find it in a book. Because what I'm doing is I try to discover ways to make it easy for the immigrants to understand, for the second language learners to understand, right? And so I think you are beginning to understand it. Okay. Somebody, I have a question. I have a question. Yes. Uh, what I see, what I see here, I don't know if it's the rules, but um, had to be two events to be a future. Per, per, uh, present, uh, future uh, perfect or yes had to be one like a one act one okay yes Oxele, i understand your question i told you in the beginning right for okay the future perfect tense is a combination of two events that will be completed in the future it should be two it cannot be one like yeah. I, I, I couldn't say, I couldn't say, uh, I will have gone at 3 p.m. Now, when you say, I will have gone at 3 p.m., I say again? Or oh, at the afternoon, it has to be, I will, I will have gone at the afternoon, it has to be, right? Or at night? <laughs> Yes. Why do you say this? Because somebody said to you, I'm coming at, I'm coming at four o'clock. Will you be there? You see? Oh, so you are answering the person. So uh, still two situations. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Because you cannot just say, oh, Andrew, I will have gone by 3 p.m. And then I will look at you. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because there is no situation. But when I say to you, Oxelia, can I, uh, I'm going to come and I'm going to deliver to you the books at four o'clock. Will you be there? You say, oh no, I will have gone by 3 p.m. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, no, I will have gone by the time you come. You see, if you go back, there are two situations. One is, I will leave, and the first one is, I will come, right? So still, Oxela, still uh, the same, uh, like two situations. Okay, next. Andy, Did you want to ask you? Yes. Did you want to have a question? Yes, Abdullah. Uh, Karina there, first. Okay, Karina. Yeah, thanks. Uh, there are two sentences that you showed before, but I couldn't understand something over there. I don't remember exactly, but it was one or two before this one. 
the robber will take all the money. Could you please show okay, me? You, I'll, I'll go back. This one? Yeah, let's see. Yes. Why is it says Henry will complete five years of study in May 2023. Henry will graduate in June 2026. So the first event is the first one, no? 2023. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why it turned, yeah, yeah, that's why it turned into a uh, future, right? You see? He will have yeah, completed but, yes, five years you, of study. Put, it's because you put the by the time. Can we use by the time either way? Oh, uh, yeah, yes. The first sentence or the second sentence? Uh, yeah, yes, Karina, you can say, you can put ca by the time at the beginning, good question. You can put by the time at the beginning and you can also put it in the middle, but you cannot put it at the end. Okay. Okay. It's like Karina, it's like when, right? Because by the time means when. So for example, you say, um, I'll give you the money when I see you tomorrow. You say when is in the middle. You can also say, when I see you tomorrow, I will give you the money. You see, you can you can reverse the position of the sentence. The same thing as by the time. You can say, by the time you by the time you arrive in New York, I will have left. Or you can say, I will have left by the time you get to New York. But when you start your sentence with by the time you need a comma. But when by the time it's in the middle, you don't need a comma. Okay. Uh, and okay. one question. Uh, teacher, when we are using by the time, we have to use simple present tense, right? Yes. It's a rule. Yeah. Y yeah, yes. Yeah, it's a okay. it's a Thank it's a grammar rule. Thank you. you when you say by the time you cannot see you, you cannot use future. Mm -hmm. You cannot say by the time I will graduate. No, it's wrong English. You see, by the time I graduate, it should be simple present. Okay. Now remember, yes. remember okay, uh, who who asked me this question? Neruba? No. It's me, sir, teacher. Uh, Shilpa, Shilpa. Right? Okay, yeah. Shilpa. Remember, when you say by the time, and you use by the time with the future perfect, then by the time should be followed by simple present. But when you use by the time with a, with, with a past perfect, which mm -hmm. we already finished, I taught you this lesson already, but you did not get it, you did not see it because you came late, right, to our class. Yeah. When you use by the time with a past perfect, then by the time should be followed by simple past. Like for example, you say, by the time, by the time she came, I had left. Hmm. You see? But don't, don't think about this. I don't want you to be confused because the future perfect tense is not easy. So we need to focus very, very carefully. But I think like, just trust me, you will get it. Okay? okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Kishan, just a question. Okay. Do you have uh, do you have teacher like a class uh, for like uh, explanation uh, explanation for the tenses uh, from what do, do you, from what the sentences are made of like uh, like and like simple present verb plus uh, verb two uh, plus complete the are uh, you mean uh, do, do, do you, you have mean? do you have class for for all tenses like this and we we, we make like uh, sentences on it to, to learn more oh you okay like me or someone yeah yeah, yeah. You, you have like this something no i i don't have it because i oh. i teach i i can create it but it's a lot of work but um because me when i okay i teach i do not teach lower levels so mm. when I teach my students grammar, I, I start with a high level grammar. Like for example, mm -hmm. in your class, I did not start with German. Okay, mm -hmm. you remember. I started yeah, yeah. with perfect tenses because you are level seven, eight, nine. 
but in my night school, I, I started with gerunds. And also in my day school, I teach level five, I started with gerund. Okay. And so, uh, but in your class, I did not because you are oh, higher than my two classes. Now, but what you can do, okay, this one, um, Abdallah, if you want to learn this um, independently, what you do is you go on Google and type sentence patterns uh, or grammar patterns in English. Grammar okay. patterns in English. Grammar <laughs> patterns, P-A-T-T-E-R-N-S, means -E subject plus verb plus object. Yes. Subject plus will have plus past participle. This is what you're looking for, right? Yes. But this, I can only teach you according to what I'm teaching. I cannot mm -hmm. teach you everything. Because yeah, I understand. Just yes. want to... Yeah, you call that grammar. To be easy for, for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, okay. I'm going to continue. Okay, next... Let's have Nga. Nga, please read. You will visit me in May. The snow will stop in April. The snow will have stopped by the time you visit me in May. Now look at this. This is so easy, right? The snow will have stopped by the time you visit me in May. Why are you telling me this? Because I'm scared of snow. <laughs> That's why you're telling me, don't worry, come to Canada. Come to Canada in May. By the time you visit me in May, the snow will have stopped. So don't worry about it. Okay. Um, okay, next. Prasad. Uh, Prasad, next. You will visit us at 6 p.m. We will return home at 5 p.m. I will have returned home by the time you visit us at 5 o'clock. <laughs> I'm wrong here. <laughs> uh, it should be 6 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, maybe I can fix it. Oh, no. No, I cannot fix it. Uh, okay, I can only fix it when I'm not presenting. Okay, so yes, I did this last night. Right? Okay, next. Next, let's have Abdallah go. You will receive your promotion that will be next month. By the next by next month, you'll have received your promotion. Yes. Normally, pers uh, normally Abdullah, uh, for the future perfect, you do not contract. Okay, you have to, you will have received. But if you, you'll have received, you will have received. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, who am I? He will wake up at twelve noon. We will. Prepare lunch for everyone two hours before that. By the time he wakes up, we will have prepare lunch for everyone. Yes. Okay. I, I'm not spending a lot of time with the with the, uh, with the screen anymore because I know you, I, that you understand it. Okay. Now. Uh, okay. Let me go back a little bit because I'm gonna give you a test right now. Okay. So this is the beginning. The future perfect tense explained. And as you can see here, as I said, first thing you have to do in order to write the red sentence, you need to decide which of the two situations happens first, will, will happen first. And in this case, it's the seven o'clock. So this sentence with the seven o'clock, you turn it into future perfect. Jack will have finished his homework. Now, what is the future perfect? Like what Abdullah is asking, was asking. It's subject 
plus will plus have plus past participle okay subject plus will plus have plus past participle subject plus will plus have plus past participle subject plus will plus have plus past participle subject plus will okay you got it right okay it uh, yes okay now we will have a practice test okay now look at this the answers okay so okay look at number one okay what i like you to do i'm gonna give you six minutes to do it okay mom will arrive you have to write it do not speak it mom will arrive in canada in october this year maha will apply for citizenship in july this year first thing you have to do is decide which sentence will happen first and then turn it into future perfect okay number two and use by the time okay number two i will start working on this new project in two months adrian will leave our company next month number three my cousin claudia will get married in december this year matthew will arrive in canada in november this year okay so i'm gonna give you everybody i'm gonna give you maybe six to seven minutes to write and i'm gonna ask you a question after seven minutes okay you have to combine just write your answers but we can see an answer oh you can see it yeah no don't look at it <laughs> we can <laughs> i changed the color you know why why you can see it Olga. oh you <laughs> can I, see it really yeah yeah i can see it. yeah we can see it oh really yeah, yeah. No, don't look at the no, don't look at the, but, the, but the answer, am, please. I am doing it without that reading. Yeah, don't okay. don't look. Okay, we we'll promise. I changed it. Into <laughs> okay, we we'll promise you. <laughs>
Are you fin are you finished? I done. Did you like the this exercise? It's very nice, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, like, you know, it makes you think, you know, like just like challenge yourself. Do not like use your cell phone to increase it to see the answer. No, don't do this. You're not gonna learn English that way. I mean, I should have used white paper there, white template, <laughs> and then color it white. Because the problem is I use uh, that beige color and I could not find beige to cover it. That's why you can see it a little bit, right? But if, like when I look at my computer, I cannot see it clearly. I can only see it clearly when I look very carefully like this. So don't do this. Uh, teacher, um, the way how I understood this one is if he, I catch exactly the time when the events happen, like I had to use a, a future perfect and in uh, the first one and the early situation, right? And the no, in the early situation, no, in the yeah, in the early situation right yes yeah yes but Oxelia, yeah yes Oxelia, you're right but just follow what i'm how i am teaching you do not go back to what you learned in the past no no i didn't learn this one yes i catch it I, like that because so uh like in the first sentence says uh maham uh apply on july and October is uh, later on, October, and uh, my future, my present perfect, my, my future perfect, I had to use in the in, on sentence on July, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, now let, let, let's go to the answers first, okay? Okay, are you ready to answer? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna start with Sadia. Sadia number one, what is your combination? Is Sadia here? Yes, sir. Okay, Sadia, uh, wait, Sadia, let me ask you. Sadia, which one will happen first? Mom will arrive or Maha will apply? Maha will apply. Yes. Okay, so how do you combine the sentence? Uh, Maha will have applied for citizenship by the time mom arrives in Canada in October, in October this year. Beautiful, Sadia. Okay, good. So yes, Maha will have applied for citizenship, do not say in July, by the time mom arrives, no will, in Canada in October this year. Okay. Okay, next. Number two, let's have Marie. Marie, number two. Uh, Marie, I will start working on this new project in two months. Adrian will leave our company next month. Which one will happen first? Adrian will leave our company next month. Yes. Okay, combine the two sentences into future perfect. Adrian will have left our company by the time I start working on this new project in two months. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, for this one... I, I, I have a question, teacher. Just a second. Sorry. Uh, for this one, Marie, you don't yeah. need to stay in two months. Okay. Okay. Uh, who has a question? Uh, Rafael. Yes, Rafael. Uh, is Rafael, is your question to me or to Marie? To you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, go. <laughs> uh, is the for the first question, I answer like this. By the time I want I want to know if it's correct mm -hmm. or not, because okay, the way okay, that ahead. the person did is different than I do. By by the time moms arrive to Canada in October, 
this year, Maha will have applied for citizenship. That is correct? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you remember, Rafael? That was the same question that Karina asked. Uh, remember, Karina said, can you switch the position? And the answer is yes. Okay. Yes, you can. You can switch it. As long as you can switch switch the position as long as you put you you use the future perfect um with the future that will take place first yeah you got it okay okay next next let's have um amarol amarol number three <coughs> By the time Matthew arrived in Canada. Uh, uh, no, by the way, so, sorry, Amarok, I should have asked you first. Okay, wait. My cousin Claudia will get married in December this year. Matthew will arrive in Canada in November this year. Which one will take place first? Which one will happen first, Amarok? The second. Matthew okay. will arrive in Canada in November. Okay, so now combine the two sentences. By the, uh, by the time Matthew arrived in Canada, my cousin Claudia will have gotten married. No. Um, I'm a role. The future perfect will, will, you will use the future perfect for the sentence, for the situation that will happen first, which is the second one. Can you try again? You want me to ask somebody else? Yeah. Okay, I can do it. Okay, go. Well. Okay, Sishan. No, I'm, I'm following the boxes, uh, the screen. Sishan. Sir. Okay, please, please do it. Matthew will have arrived in Canada by the time Claudia get married this year. In December. In December, yeah. Yes. Okay. So actually, you don't need to. Uh, actually, you don't need to to say December, right? So you can. Okay. So you got. You got it. Okay. Amarod, listen to uh, what Shishan said. He said Matthew will have arrived in Canada by the time his cousin. No. By the time my cousin Claudia gets married in December. Yes in december this year or by the time my cousin claudia gets married gets married okay so that is the sentence now we have two more which i could not fit into the uh into the screen and i'm gonna ask uh Huamai and abdallah to do it okay Everybody can do it, but I'm going to ask only Huamai and Abdullah to speak. Uh, Huamai, you're number four. Abdullah, number five. Please give me the, the answer right now. Okay, wait. Abdullah, I mean Huamai, you will arrive in Ottawa next month. Mr. Brown will inform you of the company's decision before you arrive. What will what which one will happen first um uh, mr brown will inform you of the company decision before you arrive yes okay okay now try to combine it uh mr brown will will have informed you of the company decision by the time you arrive in ottawa next month beautiful okay you got it Okay, um, Abdullah, I will turn 40 on my next birthday. I will buy a new car before I turn 40. So which one will happen first, Abdullah? Uh, I will buy a car before, because yeah. you want to buy a car before, yeah. Yes, okay, now combine the two sentences. Okay. Uh, 
I will have I, I will have bought a new car a new car by the time but by the time I turns 40 on my next birthday yes you got it okay everybody did you hear Abdullah I will have bought a new car by the time I turn 40 on my next birthday yeah on my next birthday is not necessary you can stop at by the time I turn 40 but if you include it no problem okay I will have bought a new car before no, by the time I turn 40 okay. now did you like this exercise Prasad Yeah, we're like and, uh, yeah. Uh, did you like this exercise? Yes, sir. Yes. Um, who understands? Okay, I'm not asking who understands how to use it. My question is, who understands how to turn the simple future into a future perfect tense? You could do it, right? Okay, now the question yes. is, are you comfortable doing it like when you leave the class? Not yet, but you can help yourself. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this lesson on, uh, I'm gonna post this lesson, okay? They will appear as a picture, not as a PowerPoint. I don't wanna, I don't wanna post my PowerPoint. I'm gonna, they will appear as a picture as pictures right and then i will i will show the answers that i type because right now the answers are not clear right they are not type written clearly okay so you can see here um you see it disappears <laughs> okay so you got it right um Okay, I'm gonna stop. And I let me check what is next here. Oh, I should not have closed it. Okay, so we are, we are about to finish. Uh, let me just Okay, I'm gonna ask Amarjit, Hadia, Prasad, Olga, Shijan, and Abdullah. Okay, what you will do is you're just gonna read sentences using the future perfect. Okay, let me share it first. This is just for additional reading. Just a second, just a second. Just a second. Present. Just a second. Okay. Okay, can you see the people on the screen or no? No, sir, only the text. Ah, okay. So it's not easy for me, you know, because I cannot see either. Um, okay. Okay, do you remember the people I read? <laughs> the names? <not> good. <laughs> okay, number one. I cannot see. I cannot see you. Exit. Okay. Okay. So now. Um, okay. Okay. Let me. Okay. Let me do it like this. Amarjit number one. Hadia two. Prasad yeah. three. Olga four. Shishan five. Abdullah six. Kwame seven. Remember your number, okay? Auxilia right. eight. 
Hard 10, Agna 9, Yoruba 10, Charmin 11, Amarol 12, Marie 13, Raphael 14, uh, Shelpa 15. Okay, let me see first. Okay, I don't know how many I have. Okay. Okay. Okay, number one. Number one. Teacher, I don't get any number. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know how okay. many I have. Just just, uh, just wait. Okay. Okay. We we are on vacation. Okay. So by the time we get back, we will have rested yes. and her left. Number two. Her left arm will... Her, her left arm will uh, fully uh, healed by the summer. Number three. By the next Monday, we will have been married for 10 years. Number four. By tomorrow, Justin will have been single for a whole week. Number five. By this coming September, I will have lived here for eight years. Number six. Luke will have been sick for two weeks by tomorrow. Number seven. By next week, you will have had this car for 25 years. <laughs> That's too long, huh? Okay, number eight. So by the time I begin studying German, I will have finished my French course. Number nine. When I finish this class, I will have run a total of five nights. Number ten. Before they leave for Miami, they will have visited Houston and New Orleans. Number eleven. I start. I started studying last year. I will have passed my exam when I graduate next June. Number 12. I am studying right now. I will have passed my exams when I graduate next June. 13. I will start studying next month. I will have passed my exams when I graduate next June. Number 14. By tomorrow, their lives will have changed completely. Number 15. Will you have arrived Manitoba by the time Sandra leaves for Vancouver? For Vancouver is a question. For Vancouver. Okay, okay let me just give a, a, the other people a chance to read. Okay, Karina number one and Sadia number two. Okay, go. We are on vacation, so by the time we get back, we will have rest and relax. Sadia, number two. Her left arm will have fully healed by the summer. Okay, now, just for your, uh, just for your additional understanding, okay? We are on vacation, so by the time we get back, we will have rested and relaxed. I, okay, every, anybody can answer. Okay, are they back? Not yet. Not yet, okay, good. Okay, number two. Her left arm will have fully healed by the summer. Is it already summer? No, not yet. Not yet. Is the, uh, is the arm healed? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, very good. Number three. By next month, they will have been married for 10 years. Is it, it, has it been 10 years already or not yet? Not yet. Not, not, yet. Yet. not yet. Number oh. four, by tomorrow, Justin will have been single for a whole week. Um, is Justin being single, has it been one week already or it will become, okay. Has it been one week already? Not tomorrow. yet. Not Good. Tomorrow. Number five. By this coming September, I will have lived here for eight years. Okay, right now it's March. How many more months before I complete the eight years? Five. Oh, no. 
six. Is it five or six? six. Seven. <laughs> April, May, June, July, August, September. It's six. Um, um, Abdullah, your problem is not English. Your problem is mathematics. <laughs> 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 this happened to one of my students in, in the in the day class. They said, teacher, my problem is not English, my problem is math. <laughs> okay, now, number six. Luke will have been sick for two weeks by tomorrow. Is Luke okay now? Tomorrow yeah. he'll be okay. Yes. No. Tomorrow he'll be okay. He's not okay. He's still sick. Oh. Okay. Okay, number four, now, oh, you're wrong there, Mama Mia. Okay, number seven. By next week, we will have had this car for 25 years. Still, they have it. When is 25 years gonna be complete? Next week. Next, next week. week. Okay, now listen to this, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna stop because we are done, right? I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay, just a second. Because I want to close this by telling you something. Um, okay. Oh. Okay, listen, everybody. You know, sometimes, I and I hope you understand what I'm doing, right? You know, sometimes I ask you very easy questions. Why do I ask you very easy questions? That is my strategy to make you understand that if you analyze it the way I am thinking, you will get it. So when I ask you, has it been one week? That it's, it's like a level two, two, you know, two question, right? But when you answer yes or no, it confirms my under, it confirms your understanding of my lesson. Are you following me? So, and I know you understand what I'm doing. And so, and I hope that the strategy I use today uh, to, uh, to teach you the future perfect um, is effective, okay? Now, um, Amarjit, did you like the lesson today? Yes, it was beautiful. Uh, yes, um, Sadia, uh, Niruba, what did you like about the lesson today? Um, what, you, what did you like about the lesson today? The lessons today? Uh, future perfect. Oh, you like the future perfect? Yeah. I thought you would you would say I like charming video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Abdella, what did you like about the last? Do not lie, okay? <laughs> uh, what did you like about the lesson today, Abdella? Yeah. First of all, I like the conversations. What you make, uh, like and the I like. Perfect, right? Yeah, the future, and all and, and all the conversations. I like it, and I like uh, what I learned a new tense, and uh, mm -hmm. the tense. Yeah, the tense. How how make a sentence and by perfect. Uh, Yes. And, yes. And Abdullah, did you like the strategy I used? Yes, I like it. Yes, why I like did it. you like it? Uh, and I like it because you know, like we are here like a team. You know, everybody like it's just want to share together, something. Right? Yeah, yeah. Together, work like a team, and we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Abdullah. Okay. Um, who am I? Did you like uh, which which part of the lesson that I did today was the best for you? Uh, I like the future tense uh, that you uh, provide for us. The the practice test. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's very that, uh, easy to understand. Yes, it's actually like that. Uh, thank you, Who am I for saying that? You know, actually that part. I came up with that idea only last night when I was like, I said, I need, I said, I need to do, I need to engage the students into this practice test. And I didn't know what to do. Olga said, oh, I can read it. 
<laughs> no, but you know, when you are in my class and I ask you to do something like this, don't try to read it. You, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, Marie, Marie, did you like, um, no, actually, Marie, she really congrats. You know, uh, Marie, uh, did you see, did you see um, Charmin that I posted the video on our Facebook page and Marie congratulated you? Did you see this? No, sir. No, I did not. Marie no. congratulated you on the. Oh, okay. thank uh, you, Marie. Uh, Marie, thank did you, you, you congratulate her on Facebook or on YouTube? On, on Facebook, I remember it was on Facebook. Yes. Okay. Yes, he congratulated you. And yeah, you did a great job. You know, you. actually, when Marie congratulated you on Facebook, you know, I learned something about Marie's personality, that she is humble, supportive, and caring. Remember this. Whatever you do is a reflection of your personality. When you see something wonderful and you say nothing, this is not good for you. You've got to celebrate people. Yeah, you know what I mean? Support people so people will be stronger. This is what I do for you, right? Okay, Prasad, which one did you like? Uh, Prasad, did you like Charmin's video? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, why? Because he's wearing red? <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, Prasad, why did you like uh, Charmin's video? Uh, his pronunciation is good. It is pronunciation clear. That is, uh, he give a message. Uh, uh, he give a message to the he, himself. What are you? What he? What she doing? And other things also. It is a good idea for others. It's yes. a good. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful uh, person. I like what you said, Olga. You're a new student. Uh, oh, you're a new student, Olga. Today is your yes. first day in my class. Uh, um, did you like, did you like how I, okay, did you like the class? Yeah, I like, like it. The lessons, the teacher, and the students. Yeah, I like this class, and uh, I like how your teachers, uh, that's why I'm uh, here in Saturday class. You give us an opportunity uh, to practice and uh, speaking and reading, not only listening. It's, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's a good strategy. And everybody, did you notice that, like Hadia, you're also a new student, right? Did you yes. notice that I am teaching grammar, but my focus is making you speak the grammar? I know it's not like a, a, a you make a this very is my style. I know this is you making very complicated the stuff, very like fun way to learn. Mm -hmm. And I like that about it. Yeah, it's because you know, Hadia, Hadia, the future perfect tense is not easy. Yeah, it's not easy, but, but you making it, it is so one, light. For us. One of the most difficult part of grammar is the future perfect. Yeah, and even people born in Canada, I told you this last week. Mm -hmm. Even people born in Canada, like they were like. Like I'm talking about the young people, the high school, the elementary school, mm -hmm. very seldom that you will hear them use the future perfect because the future perfect is, uh, is professional English. And the fact that you can do it, you are doing a great job. Okay. And so, um, Sijian, which part did you like best? Sir. I like throughout the day full class. I like this one, but especially this practice of the grammar, which we read out each one of us, yes. is really very nice and it's very easy for us to uh, to understand and learn. And despite we know that it's a very difficult tense, mm -hmm. but you made it so simple and easy for us to yes. learn. And, and hats off to you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. Like sometimes, you know, when I ask you questions that are so easy, sometimes I worry, oh my God, I'm teaching level seven, eight, nine. Maybe the students will find that my questions are, you know, boring, you know. And then I say, like, I don't want to change my strategy because even my questions are easy, easy for you to answer. Remember, when you answer me, you are actually helping the other students. 
you, you know this, right? When you speak in the classroom, ask me a question, like for example, when, when you ask me a question and then I answer you, you're actually helping other students. So do not other hesitate students. to ask questions because sometimes the, your question is the same question that some students want to ask, but they are not confident like you. Remember this, everybody. You need, we need to support each other, okay? Now, right. Shelpa, Shelpa, you're a new student. Um, yeah. Shelpa, uh, Shelpa do, you, do you like me as a teacher? Of course, <laughs> why not? Because today I learned a lot of things from you. And I like your strategy, the way you taught us this feature perfect tense is really mm -hmm. awesome. I'm so, because we we know about the uh, tense, but we didn't know earlier how to use it. You yes. know, how and to how make to combine it, it, right? How to turn it into a future perfect. Yeah. Now you got this strategy. You know, Shelpa, actually, and, and Abdallah, he knows this because Abdallah was my student before when I was teaching level five in Brampton. Okay. Um, this strategy, remember Abdallah, this strategy? I found out this strategy in teaching Future Perfect when I was teaching in your class in Brampton. Really? Because, yes, when I was writing on the board, mm. when I was writing on the board, and I said, and I was looking at it. I was looking at one student asked me a question and said to me, but teacher, how do I phrase this? How do I know which one will come first? And, and, and then I did not know the answer. I look up the two sentences and I said, bam, I got it. And then after that, I knew how to, 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 to teach. Uh, I mean, how, I know how to teach the future perfect tense and the past perfect tense in a way that is easier for the students to understand. That's why right now I am armed with this strategy to make you understand and how, you know, like to teach you how to phrase the sentences in the future perfect tense. And I'm very happy about this. Like, you know, like me, I've been a teacher in Canada for 28 years. And sometimes I'm very surprised that I've been a teacher for 28 years, but I'm still discovering a lot of strategies. And sometimes I discover strategies based on the questions of the students. Number one, based on the mistakes of the students, I can discover some strategies. Based on my own mistakes, I discover some strategies. Okay, so I'm very, very happy. Now, Amarov, Amarov, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Are you happy that we have Olga, Shelpa, and Javier in the class? Yes, I am happy to, to have all of them. Uh, but why? <laughs> because normally uh, I like ladies. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. I'm going to teach you a good answer. Okay. Do you like her? Like, do you, uh, are you happy that Shelpa, Hadia, and Olga are in the class? And then you say yes, and I say why? Uh, Amarod say, these students are intelligent students. They have great ideas, and their ideas give me a lot of energy. Yeah, thank you. you. Beautiful thank answer. You. And, and I and I can. Uh, yeah, do not talk I, about I, your I, personal I, feeling, Amarod. The more I, th <laughs> I think that the more as, uh, students from different countries we have. I think uh, the more chance we have to learn from other countries. Yes, that's why when Olga told me that she wanted to come to my Saturday class and also Oxelia, I was so happy. Okay. So because... if I finish, I want to congratulate you. And I, wa I wanted to say that we, ha we are really blessed to have, uh, to have such creative teacher like you. So... Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you did very good job prepare the lesson. I, I was really proud when you said what you are teaching us, we cannot find it anywhere in any books. So you are a creative teacher. 
I appreciate yeah, yes, it. Yes, Amro. Thank you so much, yes. Amro. And I meant it. Yes. Like that strategy, I just created it myself. Yeah. And and so, because, you know, when you read a book, okay, that's why I told Oxelia, do not, and Oxelia, you already answered it. You already answered me, right? I said, when you are in my class, don't think about what you learned in the past because um, when I teach you in my class, I have a strategy to, to really make things easy for you. Yeah, you know what I mean? And another one is um, the grammar lessons that I taught you today is 95% my lesson. The only lesson that was not mine was the reading, the last part, the reading, right? I, I Googled all those sentences um, that, you know, the number one to number 15 sentences. It says additional reading that is from the internet, but everything else from the, from the conversations, the conversations I wrote them seven years ago. And then when I, when I use the conversations with you, I just like fix a little bit. I just like expand it because I'm looking at the space. Okay. And then the exercise about um, like two sentences and you will combine them. I, I discovered this. No, I've been using it for a long, long time. But to teach you how to do it, I discovered two years ago when I was teaching in Brampton. I was teaching five, six. Okay. So have a nice weekend, everybody. What I'm going to do is I will post. Um, I will post um, these lessons, the pronunciation, and the grammar uh, on our two platforms, Google Classroom, and also on, uh, on Facebook. On Facebook, I will probably give you um, three exercises that you can do as an open exercise. Okay, so I'm gonna give like I'm gonna give you like I'm gonna design right now. I'm gonna do it after class. I'm gonna design a, a, a postcard with two set two sentences, and then what you will do is, for example, number one, type the sentence. Number two, the, the answer. You know, the you will be doing the the exercise that we did today on Facebook. But remember, when I post something on Facebook for you to practice, this is optional. It means you don't need to do it, but if you do it, it's good for you. It's good for you, right? Okay, so uh, try, try to do it if you can, but if you cannot, no problem, okay? But when I do something on Google Classroom, like a test, you need to do it. But today, we have no test because we had a very strong and heavy, effective, productive lesson today. And I am leaving the, uh, I am closing the class today, happy and satisfied. <laughs> and I see, it, it makes me so happy to see your smile, you know, looking at the smile of Charmin, Raphael, Olga, Olga is a new student, but she's so happy, you know, and then Prasad, you know, and Shilpa, Shilpa, I'm so happy to see you, and uh, and uh, and the energy of everybody, okay. And Hadia, Hadia, you you okay. Yeah. You look lovely, Hadia. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. And uh, and Abdullah, Abdullah and Hadia, you're together in one, in, uh, like you're side by side on the frame. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. You take care. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank everyone. you. Bye. Have a good weekend. Are you sure you're going to talk to me, right?